What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Double Dribble. And in today's video we're going to talk about Kobe Paris and where he is at now in the year of 2021. Um, it's been a while since we've made a video about him. I'm um, talking about where he's at or where he's playing. Um, so I just want to give a little update or um, actually find out some things from people that may know or have some more information on Kobe Paris that I can't seem to find on the internet. Uh, before we get into the video, I just want to start off by saying um, if you're a fan of basketball, uh, you enjoy talking basketball, whether it's from high school, college, NBA, um, international players. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button, uh, join the conversation. Uh, we love to hear you guys' feedback or comments on videos. You know, have some friendly debates or just talk about different things um, around basketball. Uh, so make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, and let's get right into the video. Uh, so today I'm going to be talking about Kobe Paras, who is um, a basketball player from the Philippines. Uh, he's super popular over in the Philippines. Um, I know they were referring to him at the time, um, R.I.P. Kobe, as the next Kobe Bryant. Um, they are super high on him. Um, thought he was going to be the next NBA star coming from the or next NBA star and a player coming from the Philippines. Uh, but so far, things just haven't panned out. Uh, before we get into where he's at now, I just want to give a little background for the people that don't know um, who he is. Uh, so he's a 6'6", 190-pound basketball player, uh, small forward from the Philippines. Uh, he's currently 23 years old. Um, he played over in the Philippines and then um, came over and was playing in some high schools um, in California. Uh, from there, he committed to play at UCLA, but he ended up um, having to withdraw from there because he didn't meet the academic requirements. And instead, he, his freshman year, he um, decided to play for the Creighton Blue Jays. Um, he played there, had a pretty lackluster career there. Um, he played in 15 games. He scored 20 points and 15 rebounds and 70 total minutes there. Um, so he didn't play a whole lot, only in 15 games. Like I said, 70 total minutes, only scored 20 points. Um, didn't have the career they thought he was going to have there and decided to transfer. Um, from there, he transferred to Cal State Northridge, and um, he had to redshirt the first year there because of NCAA transfer rules, and he didn't end up, end up playing a game for Cal State. Um, their coach got fired, and, then, and their athletic director got fired, so he decided he was going to try to pursue his um, professional career, and he actually um, left Cal State Northridge. And now we're kind of on the present day. He decided to, you know, pro career wasn't um, pan out for him quite yet. And he decided to uh, go to the University of Philippines, um, in the Philippines. And that's where the issue is. Um, so he announced on July 10th, 2018, that he'd be joining the UP Fighting Maroons for the University of Philippines. And um, he ended up playing for them in the 2018-2019 season, I believe it was. And I couldn't find any stats on him actually, other than the fact that um, he or the team that year they ended up finishing third place in their division, I think it is, or their conference. Um, I was struggling to find um, stats or um, anything really of him at this University of Philippines. Um, I couldn't find how much he averaged, how his team did. Um, not a whole lot. So if you guys are familiar with Kobe Paris and this University of Philippines, um, please let me know if you know any more of him, how he did there, um, what type of stats he um, he put up, and just what kind of um, level that league is. As far as I know, um, he's currently done at that school, and I think he's going to be trying to now really... Um, go for the pro route and um, try to start his pro basketball career. Um, I'm not fully sure. Uh, things have just not panned out for him like I know he had thought and I'm sure uh, people at the Philippines had thought. I know they put a lot of pressure on him, like I said, referring to him as you know the next Kobe Bryant because his name's Kobe. Um, and uh, you know, just from day one, uh, coming over to the U.S., playing in a prep school and high school and then going to UCLA where he ended up having to transfer, didn't even um, play for them, or I guess didn't even technically go there because he didn't make it, meet the academic requirements. And 
the whole road and journey from there just hasn't been how he'd like. So, um, if any of you guys watching this video are from the Philippines or know anything more about Kobe Paris, um, please leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear uh, more about how he's doing or, you know, what type of numbers he put up in this um, college in the Philippines. Um, let me know how that level is of college playing in the Philippines and, you know, what he's up to now if you have any insight on that. So, um, leave those comments down below. Uh, make sure you hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Um, help us reach that goal, uh, hopefully by the end of March. And, um, you know, just help us out with that. So, um, we will see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.